the number one request was, I want it in service mode. Here it is in service mode. Exactly, and it gives Claire- <laughs> Uh, I need to study to calm down. All right, you guys, it's Pixelade Rail here. Welcome back to the channel. This might be the first time in a long time that I've actually shared my face on the channel. I'm pretty sure that I've done it at one point before. Dovetail Direct is starting in less than two minutes. I was thinking about going live at the same time and doing like a live reaction, but I figured most people are probably gonna wanna be tuned into the official Dovetail Direct stream over on YouTube. And I believe they're also on Twitch right now. So what I'm gonna be doing is we're gonna be watching it, discussing it, commentating, dissecting everything live and also even speculation. I'm gonna get into that now. What do I think is going to be announced within the next two minutes on Dovetail Direct? I mean, we saw the leaks, okay? And the team over at Dovetail did confirm that there was some validity or at least truth to the leaks. So I personally believe that we are going to be seeing Train Sim World 5 today. Just my personal thoughts. All right, we're down to 20 seconds. Feel the adrenaline right now. I'm kind of nervous, guys. I mean, I'm excited because I wanna see what they announce. It's very possible that it might not even be Train Sim World 5 at all. That's what's crazy. It could just be like a rush hour update sort of thing, you know? Where we just get a bunch of new routes, but we stay with Train Sim World 4. But I don't know, given some of the leaks, it's starting to really feel like Train Sim World 5. So I guess we're going to find out right now. Hi, everybody, and welcome to Dovetail Direct Summer 2024. This is our opportunity at Dovetail Games to tell you a little bit more about what we've been working on. And boy, do we have a lot to share with you today. On today's stream, we'll be covering the future of Train Sim World, including a whopping six. Yes, you heard Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. We have Train Sim World. We have a new way to experience train simulation. What could that be? Is that multiplayer? Are they actually bringing multiplayer? I don't want to jump to any conclusions. Obviously, we have City Transport Simulator Tram, and then we have Train Sim World Tycoon. What the hell is that? Is that the new game? Is that the new project that they said they're working on? I am just now realizing I have a piece of hair that is flying up right now. Let me try and fix that. <laughs> Oh boy, all right, let's keep going. You heard that right, six route announcements. We'll also be talking about a new way you can experience train simulation at home. We'll then be talking to our friends at Tailwind to find out a little bit more about the Train Sim World Tycoon Roblox game. And we'll also be joined by our friends at View App to get the latest on City Transport Simulator Tram. To kick things off- Wait a minute, it's a Roblox game? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> All right. Off, we'll be starting with Train Sim World and boy, do we have a lot to share with you today. We'll be joined by our exec producer, Matt Peddleston, and here's a little taster of what you can look forward to. Finally. Why am I kind of excited? The music is always so pretty. They always, I knew it. <laughs> Even the logo was right. The leaks and the logo are right. That's crazy. So it's real. It's official, guys. Train Sim World 5 is coming. The leaks were real. <laughs> yeah, it's happening, guys. It looks like we're getting a brand new Train Sim World game every single year at this point. That's going to be their release cycle. All right, let's see what they're bringing. Wow, wasn't that exciting? I can't imagine what the chat's going to be like at the moment. For this section of the live stream, I'm going to pass straight over to Matt, who has a big announcement. Train Sim World 5 is coming on September 17th with new routes, new locos, and new features. And for the first Okay, September 17th. Hold on, let me get my handy dandy calendar out. That is one, two, three, four, exactly four weeks away. So it's coming in a month, guys. It's coming fairly soon. First time, a more welcome entry point for all players. Yes, I'm sure you noticed the costume change already. But one of the first things we wanted to talk about was we have been listening to your feedback as the community. You wanted a... But have you? Because we didn't ask for Train Sim World 5. <laughs> I mean, I'm excited, you know, because at this point, I have just accepted that this is going to happen, okay? We are just, we're going to get a new Train Sim World game every year. There's nothing that we can do to stop it. I want to know what is going to be coming with this that makes it new and unique and sets it apart from Train Sim World 4. We need to have some really good brand new core features that make it unlike Train Sim World 4. If it's similar in any way, there's really no point in upgrading unless you want the new routes. So they're going to have to really blow my socks off on this one. Uh, a more accessible way to be able to get to the latest version of Train Sim World and be able to bring your entire collection with you. So we have heard you and with Train Sim World 5 we will be providing a free starter pack for all players to be able to upgrade to Train Sim World 5. Players Hold on, free starter pack, free for everyone across all platforms. Bring your entire collection to TSW5. Okay, I thought we could already do that. Limited core features available for 30 days after launch. Yours to keep 
permanently. Additional Train Sim World 5 paid bundles. Okay, so you can upgrade to Train Sim World 5 without buying any of the Train Sim World 5 routes. Is that what they're saying? I'm a little confused here with that. This will be able to come in for no cost and bring their entire collection with them with limited core features from day one. It will be available for 30 days after the release of Train Sim World 5 on the 17th of September and will be yours permanently to keep. There will be some great value paid for bundles as well, and we can't wait to see all of you play the latest version of the game. So, a couple of examples. If you are a Train Sim World 3 player and you've been looking enviously over at some of the Train Sim World 4 content, such as Long Island Commuter or the Suffragette Line or Mindtel Barn, that will no longer be a problem for you. You'll be able to get all of the routes that we will be releasing for Train Sim World 5 if you upgrade to the free starter pack. And a second example. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, wait a minute. I kind of like that. It's kind of like a middle ground sort of thing. So it's just allowing players that are playing on even older versions of the game to upgrade and keep their stuff, basically. If you're a player who's been playing Train Sim World 2 and you have seen all of the remasters that have been coming out, so for example, Cathcart Circle and with Somerset Railway, then when you move over to Train Sim World 5, you'll get all those remasters. This will give you the freedom to play Train Sim World 5 the way that you want to without any limits. The rails really truly are yours. But if you thought that was exciting, wait till we get to our route reveals because we have three amazing route reveals for you as part of the standard edition for Train Sim World 5. And we're spending the next half an hour talking to you a little bit about them. For our first route, we're going to be talking about our British route. And in Train Sim World 4, we talked to you about the East Coast Mainline and brought that to players. This year, we're going to go west. Yeah, we already knew that. <laughs> west Coast Mainline, baby, let's go. Kind of excited, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know anything about West Coast Mainline, but it looks pretty cool. The first route coming to Train Sim World 5 is West Coast Mainline, London to Milton Keynes. Okay. I know Matt's really excited about this one, so tell us a little bit more. This is probably one of the most highly requested routes from players for a long time, but in particular since we did the East Coast Mainline last year, a lot of people asking, when are you going to go west? This is a really busy mainline commuter route. It's got four tracks all the way, and you're going to be driving from London Euston across 50 miles and 28 stations to Milton Keynes and the north. It's got some really complex stations along the way. You're interfacing and then linking up with different lines like the London Underground, the London Overground, as well as the mainline train. This is just such. Oh, wow. Okay. Did he just say 28 stations? Holy shit. An interesting route, and no wonder it's so hot, so popularly requested. Absolutely, Matt. So, what trains can players expect to come with the West Coast mainline? So, the big new entry here is the Class 350 EMU. It's a really interesting train to drive, brand new entry into the Train Sim World roster. But coupling with that, you've got the Class 377 in a slightly different version to the one that you might be familiar with. Normally, the 377 is a third rail train. This one's overhead powered. And what are you looking looking forward to most, Matt, about this route? What, what can players really get buzzed about? Lots of things to keep you interested in. The volume of traffic and really visiting so many iconic locations around the country. Amazing. So, West Coast Mainline, London Euston to Milton Keynes makes up the... F oh my gosh. Yeah, four tracks, 50 miles, 20 stations. That's a lot of stations. So, where's the other train that we saw on the leaks? Is that going to be a loco DLC that just layers on? That's what I'm thinking. I'm happy they're going down to London, though. First route from the Train Sim World 5 roster. Just a quick note before we carry on, all of these announcers we'll be talking a little bit more about in preview live streams, as well as our roadmap coming later this week too. So you'll be getting loads, loads more information about West Coast Mainline and all of the other reveals that we're gonna be talking about today. So let's move on to Train Sim World 5's second route offering. And for our US route, we're gonna be adding to our Californian collection. Isn't this the route that you guys promised for Trains in World 4, but you're really just pushing it to Trains in World 5? I'm sorry, I don't like that. You know, you announced that so far a while back, and that was for Trains in World 4, and now that's going to be a base route for 5. Come on now. Come on now. Can we just be real for a second? I mean, I'm excited i'm happy i like it like this is gonna be a good route but making this a standard with the new game when you announce it for the last game 
Come on. It looks just like the other logo we have. I hope it's at least redone, you know? Updated physics, updated sounds, and all of that. I can only hope. The next route coming to Train Symbol 5 is the San Bernardino line from Los Angeles to San Bernardino. So this route is really interesting. You're gonna be driving through dense urban scenery. It's quite a contrast if you played the Antelope Valley line, even though we're starting at the same station, it goes east instead of going north. Starting at Los Angeles Union Station, you're then gonna be running 57 miles through 16 stations to get through to San Bernardino. Okay, you might 57. be familiar with San Bernardino from the Cajon Pass route. So you're gonna be using a different part of San Bernardino than you'd be familiar with previously stopping at the station. Probably one of the most cool things that I like when I'm driving this route is there's a section in the line where you're driving in the middle of a massive highway. You know, these big American highways are. And you're this lone train in the middle of this highway. And at certain camera angles, it kind of looks like you're a train driving on the road. It's really cool. So I'm really highway. looking forward to seeing that. <laughs> I have to pause and say the highway looks dead. They need, well, I'm really out of focus. Sorry. They, they need to do something about, you know, the traffic on the roads because like that highway was not a highway. And also those cars are still floating on top of the roads. We got to fix that. It doesn't look bad. It doesn't look bad by any means. I think I'm actually more excited for West Coast Mainline than I am for this. And I'm a U.S. player that prefers U.S. content. But at the end of the day, you know, Dovetail seems to give U.S. the crappier end of the stick. I mean, let's look at all the examples. It kind of speaks for itself. We're the last to get bug fixes if we even get any at all. And we just get a lot less content. So I can just hope that we get some third parties for U.S. content and we get more stuff. We get higher quality. We get, you know, more frequent bug fixes and patches and all of that stuff. I can only hope and pray for that. Right, seeing some really cool screenshots coming up from people. In addition to the Metrolink depot uh, near Los Angeles, the CMF, there's also the depot that Metrolink operate in San Bernardino, the EMF. So both of those are in and accessible. Brilliant. And yeah, I can't wait to see all of the photo mode shots as well of people going down the highway with the train going on there. Speaking of trains, what is going to be included, Matt, in this particular route? So new to San Bernardino line is the Metrolink MP36, along with the Bombardier coaches. And these are going to be in two different liveries for the coaches as well. So there's a newer livery as well as the slightly older one. But the line wouldn't be complete with just those trains in there. So we've included the F125 and the Rotem cars as well and made sure to mix it all up because in reality, that's exactly what Metrolink do. And so you'll see exactly those kinds of super realistic formations that you can drive as well. Amazing, so there's gonna be loads of variety, loads of interesting formations, as you say. And you might- So one new loco that's, I guess, kind of sort of recycled. We already had it previously, and then another loco that we just got with Train Sim World 4. <sighs> All right. I've noticed as well that a couple of the stations are on routes that already exist within Train Sim World. Hold that thought. We're gonna come back to that later. So Matt, what are you most excited for about this particular route? Aside from the middle of the highways, I think that's just a really cool part. The mix up of the trains for me, it's just like there's, these are really cool, interesting trains that don't look the same all the time. Uh, and the MP36 is a great train to drive. The F125 is a great train to drive. And it's just that mix up of driving experience, I think is very interesting. Fantastic. So that is the second of the three core routes. 16 stations, 57 miles, the highway experience. I find that so interesting how they're like packaging that as like a selling point for it. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Train Sim World 5. We've now filled the slots for our US and our UK routes for Train Sim World 5. And we've got one more slot to go. As is tradition, we'll be filling that with our German route. And we know you like busy passenger lines. We've already given you many in Train Sim World. Well, this year we wanted to crank it up to 11, or should that be Elf? What? Bitch, not me being more excited for this than the US. Come on now. You know, comparing the UK and then this to the U like, it really shows you like the US content really is underwhelming. Like that was a whole Train Sim World 4 announced route that you just pushed to five. Like what? The 
final route coming to Train Sim World 5 Standard Edition is Frankfurt Fulda, the Kinzig Tarbahn. I can't wait for this one. This is going to be so exciting for people who are fans of busy railways. Matt, tell us a little bit more. This is a really interesting line. I mean, probably the highlight of this route is bringing the busiest German railway station into Train Sim World 5. We're starting this journey in Frankfurt and it's brilliant to be there. It's an iconic location and it looks tremendous. So busy with so many trains, so many lines intersecting, really, really cool. But the line itself runs from Frankfurt via Hanau over to Fulda and is a really interesting drive. And there's all sorts of different traffic. One of the things that players have told us, particularly with the German routes, is so much variety with intercity, express, passenger, and span type traffic as well, all yeah. mixed into the same line. And that's what we've tried to do here as well. And it's, it's come out really nicely. And yes, Matt, the trains included are an integral part of this particular route. Can you tell us a little bit about what is included with the Frankfurt Fulda line? Absolutely. So the headline new train for the Frankfurt Fulda line, another train much requested by players, is the BR411 ICE T. This is a tilting train, it's ICE, so it's got all that sleekness that you're familiar with, but this is- You know, I'm so excited for this, and I'm kind of mad now. Why does the US get, like, something that was announced for Trains on World 4 as their Trains on World 5 base route, but then for UK and then for Germany, we get something brand spanking new. Like, I love, like, I'm so excited for this. I'm probably more excited for this in the UK route than the US route. That's just so crazy to me, because it would have been the opposite for me previously. Wow. Wow, I'm really excited for this route. And then, you know, to also have Frankfurt too. It's the tilting version of it, and it adds a lovely bit of new variety into your rolling stock roster. And it tilts. Then in addition to that, you've got the BR193 Vectron. This time, it's in DB Red livery. Go yeah. on with that, you've got the BR423, you've got the BR146.2 with the Dostos, and you've got the BR114. So you've got a wide range of trains doing a wide range of things from freight, passenger, express, to stopping, along with layers to fill out the category from the rest of Good. the Good, layers, well. yeah, layers. Five locos that are featured with this particular route and that is i think is that a record for trains in world it's the same see what i mean like look at how much they're putting with this and then the us it's just like eh. like do you see what i mean do you see what i mean like why aren't more people talking about this we are constantly getting the shit end of the stick we really are wow I'm not letting that take away from my excitement for the German stuff, though, because I'm I'm excited to get my hands on that. It's similar, I think, that we did with Dresden Riesa, which is one of the things that we were really looking back to as players really told us they liked that. So that's what we try to repeat here. Brilliant. And Matt, what are you most excited? I think this feels like an obvious question for this particular route, but what are you most excited for? I want that ICT. I want to be ah. driving the ICT. There's lovely swoops and curves, and this train is going to fly around those curves. Yes. Oh my gosh, and then also thinking with the latest suspension update. Oh my god, it's gonna be so good. Wow, I am I'm ready. I'm ready, guys. Let's go, let's do it. The tilting mechanism allows you to go a little bit quicker around those curves as well, doesn't it? Exactly that. You've got the GNT system, which means that you can go faster than the speed limits, and you'll be able to um you're getting excited about that, JD. I, I I am I'm going faster than the speed limits. Yeah, that is a bit on, of me. Yeah. So you'll be flying around all of these corners and having a really great time as you drive from Frankfurt to Fulda. Amazing. So that fills our roster of three routes for Train Sim World. Wait a minute. It says 103 kilometers. Hey Siri, how many miles is 103 kilometers? 64 miles. Okay, so it's a decent length. The other ones were like in the 50s. Five standard edition. We could not be more excited to bring these to you on September 17th, but that is only a little bit of the story because we're going to be talking about what you can get as part of the deluxe edition. And if you want a few more locos, well, we've got you covered. So with our first loco announce, we're going back to Germany. And if you're a fan of lime green locos, I think you're going to enjoy this one. Yeah, we saw this in the leak. <laughs> It's brat green, guys. Brat green. Siemens. Yeah, Flix Train. All the leaks were real. <laughs> Every single leak was real. The Flix Train Vectron. I'm not surprised. <laughs> So the first loco coming as part of Train Sim World 5 Deluxe Edition is the Flix Train BR193 Vectron. I can't wait to break up the sea of red on German routes. It's so exciting. This is a really cool, fun livery as well. I am very excited to get into the game. 
and it's something that again players have been asking for. As well as the Vectron, it also comes with the Talbot coaches that run behind these trains. This is a very exciting new operator to get into TSW and uh, yeah, we've been having a lot of fun with it. And I assume with the new rolling stock you'll be able to use that on formation designer as well, Matt, to sort of append to any existing German stock that you might have? Absolutely. Mix and match, it's your game, your play. Okay, so what is the home route for the Flix train and what kind of services can players expect to run? So the Flix train will be running on Frankfurt Fulda uh, and it's a variety of services to be honest. It's predominantly an intercity train but it runs long haul and rapid services. So that is an amazing variety of services on the ever increasing Frankfurt Fulda route. That is now six locos, sex on the Frankfurt Fulda. I will say I'm very happy that we have Vectron for passenger now. Let's go. I'll take right. it. So the Flix train Vectron is the first deluxe loco coming to train in World 5 but we have another one for you and we are super excited about this one. We get requests for this train more than any other British train. We think you're going to be positively yeah. tilting. It's not for the, oh yeah, I know what this is going to be. Also, I already knew it wasn't going to be for the US. <laughs> With delight. Yeah, this one's obvious. We already know. This is the main leak of it all. The fact that this is a deluxe too, like they know, they know you guys are going to buy the deluxe for this. So... I'm not gonna lie. They got some smart business going on here. The class 390. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm excited for this one. I'm very excited for this one. The next train coming to Train Sim World 5 Deluxe Edition is the Avanti Class Matt 390 looks so excited. Pendolino. Looks I know so that there is going to be so much excitement for this one, and I cannot wait for players to have this in their hands. Matt, can you tell us a little bit more about the Pendolino and what makes it special? Absolutely. Pendolino has a unique look and feel to it. It looks amazing. It's, it's just it's a fan favourite, to be honest, whether you're a player of Train Sim or just a genuine train fan. This train comes in a 9 and 11 car variants they'll be coming in, representing the entire wow, fleet. Wow, I love the it. It's beautiful. And obviously includes tilting technology. So this yep. is an iconic low coat for UK rail fans. Matt, what kinds of services can players expect to play and on what route will they be playing them on? They'll be driving the Pendolino on the West Coast Main Line, of course, and you'll be running out of Euston, going up to Milton Keynes, and there are three or four stations you'll be stopping at or you'll be doing non-stop runs. There's actually quite a lot of variety you get out of this. Period, this let's go. So with the Pendolino adding to the roster, that is the end of the routes and locos that you will be able to get with Train Sim World Standard. <laughs> <laughs> no Deluxe US. Are we surprised? No. <laughs> it's just laughable to me. Like, we really get the shit under the stick every single time. It's not even sad anymore. It's hilarious. Deluxe editions, or is it? Because as part of Deluxe Edition, you will also be able to get your hands on Cajon Pass if you have not already, and all of the trains within it. And those are your routes and locos coming with trains. <laughs> They just didn't even bother giving us anything new for the US. They just said, here's an old route. Enjoy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I should not be laughing. This is not funny. <laughs> Oh, all right. Well, here's the rundown of everything, guys. West Coast Main Line, London Euston, Milton Keynes, San Bernardino <laughs> for Trains and World 4. Let's be real. Frankfurt Fulda. Those are all standard. Deluxe Cone Pass. Throw it in. Let's just try it again. Recycled. And then for the Deluxe, of course, something nice, new, and brand new for the UK. The Avanti West Coast BR390. Flix Train BR193. Vectron. I guess not entirely something new new but sort of something new a lot newer than just throwing in a route you know but all right let's see what's next guys conductor mode leaked so i'm assuming it's in here let's see if that's real in sim world 5 we are super excited to get these into your hands on september 17th you will be getting the west coast main line london euston to milton Keynes. you'll be getting the frankfurt fulda route the San Bernardino line, and if you get the deluxe edition, you will also get access to the Flix Train Vectron, which runs on the Frankfurt Fulda route, and you'll also be able to get access to the amazing Pendolino, which will run on West Coast Main Line. You'll also get the Cajon Pass route, which will add some freight services to San Bernardino too. However, that is not all you're going to be getting with Trains in World 5, because we have some amazing core features coming with the game as well. We'll be telling you a little bit more about those in a second. Okay. 
So when we were compiling the list of features for Train Sim World 5, we did this with players in mind. We see every week that there are feature requests, we've done player surveys. Yeah, and he even said, him right there in the live stream, yeah, so Conductor Mode was actually one of the top voted. That was a direct hit because they were probably already working on it then. We're definitely getting Conductor Mode, I'm calling it now. And we've tried to build out the feature set based on that feedback. So with that said, let's go through the full list, shall we? <laughs> Starting with an updated live app. And I'm yes, I've been fucking wanting this for so long. Oh my God. That's one thing that has always pissed me off is how the, oh my God. So excited for this because beforehand, I'll be honest with you, it was the bane of my life. Matt, tell us a little bit more. So the live map's a very exciting upgrade. It's something players have been asking for for a long time, and it's brilliant to actually be able to get to that now for everybody. There's a couple of major improvements that we're looking at here. So you're looking at new labels uh, coming onto the thing, so you'll actually know where you are by name. Uh, again, possibly the most... The map screen has been the bane of my existence for the past God knows however many years. I hate how you literally can't see much of anything on the 2D map. You don't know where you are. There are no labels. It also really bothers me how when there are other services, you can't see them with a little pin on them. You have to zoom in and try to find the little white bar amongst the whole blue map. And it's just, it's hard on the eyes. It bothers me. Like, I want to see where all the services are. So I'm hoping with Live Map 2.0, we can see where all the trains are at one point and see which way they're moving. Please, I'm hoping that's a part of it because I was kind of assuming it was from the start. Most requested feature of the map is where am I? In addition to that, we've changed how the signal graphics look so you'll now know which way the signal is facing, which is always quite useful. Uh, we've changed the graphics for how they look as well in terms of the icon that's used. And there's a legend that tells you all of these icons now so you don't have to try and remember what they all mean. What color does this marker mean? Platforms, stations, objectives, all this stuff is going to be shown. And then if you hover the cursor over a train or a signal, you get a tooltip with lots more information about it so you can really find out a lot more about what's going on on that 2d map now yeah and i think it just looks more attractive as well doesn't it It looks a lot more user friendly and that's kind of a theme that we'll be putting forward through a lot of these features today as well it's crazy because this should have been in the game like this should have been in the game it's crazy great job on this great job on this also look at the san bernardino line it's literally just a straight line i wonder if we're going to be able to go really fast on this thing regular train sim world players might be aware of conductor modes we've trialed it on a couple of scenarios within glossop line and more recently long island commuter and the feedback was spectacular so we have implemented it into a full game mode which is coming with train sim world 5's core routes matt can you tell us a little bit more please please be integrated into timetable please be integrated into timetable so yeah this is a way for you to enjoy your favorite routes and trains if you're not interested in driving for a little while you want to ride the train but you want to stay busy conductor mode allows you to go and collect tickets check them uh, get rid of passengers that shouldn't be on the train uh, it's about clearing the baggage and oh, one of the main roles of conductor is maintaining safety of the, the train and the passengers you'll be opening and closing the doors so there's quite a lot to do to keep you busy and these two modes we did previously were really popular with players Number Number one request was, I want it in service mode. Here it is in service mode. Exactly, and it gives players- <laughs> Oh, I need, to, I need to calm down. Matt, you killed it. You killed it. You killed it. Yes, this is it. This is what I wanted. I was going to be so mad if it wasn't in service mode. I'm not going to lie. It's in service mode. That means you can, like, the possibilities, the replay value for that, you can do it on any service. Like, no run is going to be the same, basically. Different times a day, you can do different weather. Like, that's the thing with the coal conductor scenario thing, is that when you were doing it, it was just the same scenario, the same time of day, the same weather over and over again. There wasn't much replay value to it, but now we have that. And that is just a really important factor for me. Replay value. As variety gives them a different way to enjoy the game and also so everyone to have that little bit more immersion when they're playing Train Sim World 5. So for the next Train Sim World 5 core feature, fast travel, Matt, I'm gonna start with a question. I'm playing on a route on Train Sim World 5 and I've driven, I've got to the end of my service, what do I do? So previously, you'd have to find something to do where you're finishing your service or go back out to the menu and pick something else. 
But now you can think, what if the service I want to run is somewhere else on the route? Or maybe then I look on the map, the live, the nice new shiny 2D map, you can see there's some really cool stuff happening on another station. Now you can just fast travel there immediately. Yeah, it's as simple as that. All you need This is not funny what I'm about to say. But is this going to be helpful if you have red lights everywhere and your timetables freezing up? Because we know that happens a lot. <laughs> What's fast travel gonna be if the whole timetable's frozen up and you gotta quit out? and reload it. All right, let's get back into business. Enough jokes. What you need to do is click the location on the 2D map and you'll be teleported straight there, meaning that you can customize your experience to any way you see fit. So that's fast travel. For the next Train Sim World 5 core feature, which is route hopping, Matt, I have another question for you. So I am doing a Metrolink service to San Bernardino. I get to the end of my service and what happens next? So route hopping allows some really cool extra stuff here. So if you've got Deluxe Edition and you're in Cajon Pass, you can now use route hopping to jump to San Bernardino on Cajon Pass and change route, but without changing station, which is very cool. That means that now I can go from having driven my Metrolink train to San Bernardino, route hop to the other route, and then I can drive a freight train to Barstow. So this is a way to... Ex well, that was not on my bingo card for Train Sim World 5. What the hell? No, like I'm now just thinking of how this is gonna work with like Northeast Corridor. Like if we get more legs and they all interconnect and you get to the end of one, but you wanna pick up on the next leg, this is going to work for that. So now they need to make more legs of the Northeast Corridor. That's insane. Extend your experience within Train Sim World and be able to go from one route to another seamlessly. You might have noticed some of the other Train Sim World 5 routes have connections to existing routes in the Train Sim World back catalog. So the West Coast Main Line will connect to Bakerloo and Frankfurt Fulda route will also connect to the Castle Würzburg route from day one as well as San Bernardino also connecting to the Antelope line too. So you've got a really, really long experience there if you use route hopping. So with all of those features, wow. you'd be forgiven for thinking that was all Train Sim World 5 had to offer. But no, we have more for you because there are some brilliant features already existing in Train Sim World, which we have tweaked and we have improved. And we'd like to tell you a little bit more about those. Signaling, let me start. So the first of what we're gonna call additional features include an update to photo mode. Matt, do you wanna tell us a little bit more? Absolutely. The biggest improvement in photo mode is the ability to customize the weather and the time of day in real time while you're taking the screenshot. So <laughs> we pause the game and you line up the camera where you want it to be and then you think to yourself, I wish there was a bit of snow here and I wish the sun was in a different place because it's kind of blurring the shot out at the moment. So you can now move the sun effectively by changing the time of day and season and, and then change the weather. So you get exactly the shot you want. And none of this gets in the way of your gameplay because the minute you press resume, it all snaps back to how it was. Amazing. So another opportunity for players to get the perfect shot, customize their experience. Absolutely. Our next I will say, I get so irritated with them sometimes, but they have a way of selling me something. They, they do every single time. Because why was that cool? See, I like that. That's, it's like little small things like that that I really enjoy. This feature is a feature that we have had in Train Sim World for a little while now, but has had a bit of a facelift. It is Training Center. Yeah. So with Training Center, we've added a new locomotive. We've added the BR146.2. So we've now added some German themed tutorials into Training Center. I also really hope that they are going to extend the interior of Training Center, like inside the building. They always said that we have these other offices. Maybe one day they could be used for something. I remember that so i'm hoping that we finally have like more going on in the building now we've reworked all of the tutorials and added a bunch of extra ones that cover different topics uh, and an expanded range of subjects and then we've added some textual tutorials in that you can just go and look up along with some video support and images so that it covers an enormous range of topics now including technical details like uh, what signals do and how they how you interact with them what safety systems do uh, and and other details like that so you've really got a lot of time that you can look in now on the uh, training center and what's even better is that you can call all this up while you're in the middle of another drive so you press the pause key and you can call up training center and go and look at those reference materials when you're stuck rather than having to come out and go back in again and that's so important and again we talk about features that we're particularly excited for i know this isn't necessarily the sexiest feature but it what? is something that is really no that's a really good thing to add that's gonna really help bring in new players or like beginners you know important because we get so many people tell me i don't know what i'm doing here and the ability to be able to do that within a game session will be so important as well as all of the upgraded tutorials that we'll be giving you with trains in world 5. and speaking of accessibility something that is really important to us at dovetail we wanted to do something to really really 
help with that. Uh, modern trains are very, very digitally based, and that can mean reading really, really tiny things on a screen and not having an awful lot of navigability. So we have enhanced the digital display screens you will see on many of the trains in Train Sim World 5. Matt, can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, absolutely. One of the key things is that when you're trying to interact with these or even view them, um, they're moving around with the movement of the, the sway of the train and they're quite fine details and it can be quite fiddly to interact with. Well, now you can just click on the screen and zoom it up to the full screen. And while it's zoomed up like that, it won't wiggle around at all, making it immensely easier to interact with. And that's a benefit to everybody, whether you have difficulty interacting with it before, whether you just want it to be nice and clear on your screen. So that's a huge improvement. And then we're also adding the ability to navigate the cursor around using keyboard controls as well, because not everybody likes using a mouse or using a joystick, and they want digital controls to move the, the cursor around the screen as well. That feels like a really, really nice quality of life improvement, and we hope the players find it really useful too. And finally, for this section, we brought suspension improvements to some Train Sim World 4 locos. We can confirm that that will be a standard feature in all Train Sim World 5 locos moving forward. Good. And that is that for Train Sim World 5's core features coming to you on September 17th. Okay. Here is that list again, so you can take a look at it. As with all of the stuff that we've talked about over the course of this Dovetail Direct, you'll be able to find out more. Conductor mode, it's got me sold. It's got me sold. The fast travel is nice too. I was not expecting the live map 2.0, but I'm really excited for information that information and see it in action during our live streams during our roadmaps during our articles our preview videos there's going to be loads of opportunities for you to be able to see this stuff before the big day so if you're as excited as we are about train sim world 5 you'll be wanting to know how you can get involved on september 17th well as we mentioned beforehand there are plenty of bundles and options on offer including the starter pack which is the free option to upgrade with limited access to uh, train sim world 5 core features and none of the routes that we talked about just now, but it'll get you and bring all of your compatible content along on day one. You'll also have the opportunity to get the standard edition, which has the three routes that we talked about, as well as also all of the Train Sim World 5 core features. We think this one is best for new players coming to Train Sim World 5 for the first time. The next one is our deluxe edition, which also contains everything that we've just talked about, plus the Flix Train, Vectron, and the amazing Pendolino, as well as Cajon Pass. And with deluxe- What if you are already have Cajon Pass though, but you want the deluxe edition. Do you still have to pay that or will it like deduct the price of what Cajon Pass would be? Because I want like the deluxe or special edition, but it's like I already paid for Cajon Pass. So it's like, I don't want to pay for that again, you know? Deluxe edition, you will also get five days early access to Train Sim World 5. So you can access it on the 12th of September ahead of anybody else. However, if you're a collector and upgrading from an earlier version of Train Sim World, perhaps special edition is the best version for you. It is our best value offering and contains five additional routes that we have handpicked because they are some of our favorites, as well as also interacting with other Train Sim World 5 core routes via the route hopping feature. As you will have noticed, standard, deluxe, and special editions will also get either a pre-order or a loyalty discount dependent on the platform that you play on. Please check out our website for more information. And we are delighted to announce that Train Sim World 5 will be available on Game Pass for Game Pass players on September 17th as well, which is- I'm not shocked when they took four off Game Pass, we knew five was coming. Very exciting. Right, so how do you condense 30 minutes of Matt and I talking into one graphic? Well, here is a summary of everything you can expect with Train Sim World 5 coming to you on September 17th. So Matt, in practical terms, what does that mean that players get for each of the versions? So Deluxe Edition, that's 20 locomotives and 15 road pieces of rolling stock. And in Special Edition, 31 locos and 21 pieces of rolling stock which is an amazing way to kickstart your Train Sim World collection. We have an impressive selection of routes and locos this year, we hope you'll agree, and a really, really formidable set of core features requested in the most part by you folks at home. So we hope there is something for everybody in Train Sim World 5. As with everything we do with Train Sim World, we wanna show you a little bit about what we're working on before we get to September 17th. So we will be kicking off with our roadmap live stream on the 22nd of August, that is just two days away. We're gonna talk a little bit more detail about all of the things that we've spoken about today. And we'll also be previewing all of the content that we have been talking about in the next three weeks before launch. Put the dates in your diaries because you don't wanna miss them. So that is the Train Sim World 5 section of the live stream done. But there is still plenty more to look forward to, including six Train Sim World route reveals, which we're all very, very excited about, and a couple I think you'll be really surprised with. We'll also be talking a little bit about a new way to experience train simulation. That will be coming next. 
and we'll also be talking a little bit more about our Train Sim World Tycoon game for Roblox. That will be with our friends at Tailwind. And we'll also be checking in on the View App team to get a little bit more information about what they're working on with City Transport Simulator Tram. So stay tuned. To finish off this section, we've got a special treat for you. Enjoy the new game trailer. Oh, we have a new trailer. Let's go. You guys, you know, I need a minute to just sit here and think and process everything that we just saw. <laughs> because, you know, though I am disappointed with the US content, you know, it's already a route that was announced for TSW4. That's going to be the TSW5 route. I think that's really scummy, honestly, in my opinion. I'm very happy with the West Coast mainline. I'm also very happy with, you know, what we're getting for Germany too. And also the feature set, conductor mode. I am really excited for that. I'm not gonna lie, it's gonna be a lot of fun. But, you know, do I think that Train Sim World 5 was needed? Absolutely not. I do not think that this was necessary. I don't think it was. But, you know, it's gonna happen. Every year, we're probably gonna get a whole new iteration of this game. Every year, it's gonna happen. All right, let's see what's next. I was gonna end this, but they seem to be announcing more stuff, so. A new way to experience train simulation. What's that about? I do like the way that this is all set up. I'm not gonna lie. Is this gonna be like hours long? Well, I for one, I'm very excited for September the 17th. But next up, we are super excited to be able to announce a new way that you will be able to experience train simulation. And we are so excited for this one. We can't <gasps> wait oh to be God. able to show you everything <laughs> that we have planned for you. I was just about to sell this because I was like, they're never gonna actually bring it. It's gonna be that third party program forever. I can use this now. <laughs> This is crazy because, wait, Matt, didn't Matt really say, like, we'll bring it when more people have headsets? He said that on the forum. So I was like, oh, it's never going to be coming. No way. Well, that's really my announcement, <laughs> isn't it? Train Sim World is coming to VR. <laughs> no! What the fuck? <laughs> yes! Oh, my God. This is, like, the one thing that I really wanted. No way. It's a separate game. It's not actually a part of Train Sim World, like five. That makes me a little sad. I'm not gonna lie, but it's only Train Sim World New York VR. That does make me sad. Hi, I'm but this Kat, is a good the step. Producer on trains. Hi, I'm Will. I'm the assistant producer on trains, and we are very excited to announce Train Sim World VR New York coming to MetaQuest headsets two and three. For years, we've been making and playing Train Sim games, and we're really excited to put you in the driver's seat in VR. Train Sim World VR New York will be the first train simulation game exclusive to the MetaQuest platform. So where in New York is the set cat? So for our first venture into VR, we will be recreating the Harlem Line route that was also featured in TSW, and we are very excited to show you a glimpse of it today. Okay, hold on. Let me, I think I should tone down my excitement because it sounds like it's just going to be like a more watered down version of the route and it's on the MetaQuest store, so the graphics aren't going to be, maybe I'm not that excited anymore. <laughs> Man, I really thought this was going to be in Train Sim World 5 for any route. <laughs> I mean, this is still a good step, though, because, you know, this this could mean that it could be coming to Train Sim World 5 Welcome eventually. Welcome to Train Sim World VR New York, a brand new game to experience train simulation in VR. We're currently on the Harlem Line route in New York, driving the M3A train. Today, we'll show you a quick overview of what you... Look at those trees. That looks terrible. <laughs> That looks bad. Can expect. That looks bad. Game you will start each day in your own apartment where you can choose which services you would like to drive. You will also find some interactable elements in your room that you can play with too. This is honestly probably a test. They're probably going to see how many people buy headsets and play this before they even think about introducing it into Train Sim World 5. This is probably honestly just a test. It's a stepping stone and it actually makes sense. This is a gradual progression. I need my hat. That's what I need. I don't even know where my hat is. TV will be your main menu within the game where you can select gameplay options and view the leaderboard. Let's choose a scenario and jump to the platform. Mm -hmm. 
in the cab you have an interactive tablet that will act as your HUD and will display the reversal status, acceleration and speed of your train. Insert the master key, set the reverser and you're ready to go! What will the physics be like on this though and the sounds? Once the train is ready, because... set the throttle and traverse the atmospheric sites of the Harlem route. Explore stations to find collectibles that you can decorate your apartment with. Top the leaderboard with your friends and become the best driver, all within your meta headset. The graphics are kind of questionable. It's giving GameCube, but worse. It's not bad. I think that if this is a stepping stone, it is a really good stepping stone. And I really hope that it comes to Train Thank Sim World, like the game, showcase. you know. Where the party at? <laughs> <laughs> the music is a vibe, though. Hopefully I don't get hit with copyright on this. I'm gonna have to We have been working with up. the very talented developers at Just Add Water, who have been working alongside us to bring this VR vision to life. And the exciting thing is, Train Sim World VR New York is heading your way next year in 2025. Next year. So you can wishlist it now on the Meta Store, or you can scan the QR code on screen. And that will take you to the TSW website for further details. All right, we have some more root reveals coming up. So this is not over. Smart of them to sandwich that there, you know, between the rest of this. Next up, we have our route reveals. We are going to be talking a little bit about what you can expect from Train Sim World 5 over the course of the next few months. And to tell you about all of these exciting routes, I'm handing over to Alex. All right, Alex, fill us in. What are we gonna get? Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Take a Ticket Reveal Show. My name's Alex, and I'm the Senior Community Manager here at Dovetail Games. And you might just recognize me from our TSW monthly roadmap streams, which is a good coincidence because today we're going to be talking about the roadmap for Trains in World 5. So I've got a set of six future TSW add-ons to reveal today, and we're going to be talking about what's coming next after the release of Trains in World 5 on September 17th. And here's how it's going to work. I've got a special wallet over here. Thank you. And inside this wallet are six different tickets that we're going to be pulling out one at a time and they will relate to the six different add-ons that we're revealing. So, why don't we get started? What in the Thomas the Tank Engine is so that wallet? let's go through the tickets. <laughs> I'll turn my wallet around and we'll draw each one, one at a time, so we can see what we have in store for us. Remaster. I hope some of these may be somewhat recognizable. Take any okay. stylization with a, a little pinch of salt, but they are meant to reference their real life counterparts. Wow. And there we have it are six root reveals. And if they're not familiar, don't worry, because I'll be talking about what each of them mean in just a moment. So let's start talking about these in more detail. Uh, I'll pass my wallet back. Thank you. <laughs> uh, and let's talk about the first one we've got here. So let's draw this ticket here. And I can reveal that this is a US ticket. It will be the next US route coming to Train Sim World. And I can reveal that this is the MBTA commuter Boston to Framingham Worcester. Oh! We'll be able to head west from Boston South Station to Worcester yes, in the magnificent yes, yes, HSP yes! 46 with the double decker coaches. But that's all I'm going to be revealing <laughs> for the Boston route today. But don't I have been wanting that route for a while. I'm so happy. Don't worry, as we'll be following up with this okay. in our TSW5 monthly roadmaps as usual. So you will be- I'm kind of pissed that we know, but we don't get to see anything now. To find more information as we go into the future. Yes! But let's move on to yes! our next ticket. So I'm going to draw the nice blue and yellow striped ticket here. Now this is meant to be referring to a very vintage style UK ticket. And actually it relates to a TSW 2020 route. And I think the bold text in the middle does give away that this will be a remaster and it will be for the Great Western Express. Now this will see an upgraded route, completely overhauled stock for the Great Western Express and the Diesel Legends of the West add-ons, including a brand new timetable, the new conductor mode from Train to Mode 5 and something blue which is just a little extra teaser in there for you. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, Great Western Express. That's a good one. God, my hair is not cooperating with me today. It's pissing me off. I look like alfalfa with that little thing sticking up. No, I'm excited and I'm kind of taking a guess on what's coming. So Cole knock and timetable update. I'm ha- I have a feeling they're going to do um, an extension or a remaster or something like that. Maybe I'm wrong, though. Wow, Great Western Express. That's a good one to remaster. That's going to be amazing. New timetable and conductor mode included. Let's go. And for those of you who don't know what we mean by remaster, we'll be taking the current Great Western Express route and boosting it up to the TSW5 feature set for free for owners of the Great Western Express route already. And as we've heard earlier in the stream, you'll be able to get this via the free starter pack or any of the paid bundles for Trains in World 5. Now we still have four more tickets to talk about, so join me later in the stream to continue the reveals. Hello everyone and welcome back to the Take a Ticket Reveal Show, the show where we talk about the future TSW add-ons coming to Train Sim World 5 after its release. Let's get back into the reveals. Thank you very much for the wallet. Here we go. So let's put them all out on the table. We have the MBTA commuter route. We have the Great Western Express remaster. We have four more tickets that we haven't revealed yet. Right, brilliant. Let's hand the wallet away. And we're gonna be starting with this ticket. So you may recognize this as a German ticket and it will be a German route that we're revealing next. And I can reveal that this will be the Felsische Ludwigsbahn Mannheim to Kaiserslautern. Okay. All of the hills of baden württemberg and embark on passenger services from local S-Bahn to meandering ICE traffic. Enjoy a different pace on the rails between Kaiserslautern and the busy hub of Mannheim set in the 2010 era. I'm not familiar with this route, but I saw ice traffic and I got excited. <laughs> so that's the route. Let's put that back. And now let's move on to our fourth reveal. And it will be this ticket. Now, this is a very common looking site for those of you across the UK. Uh, but where are we going? Well, I can reveal that this ticket is a new country for Train Sim World. We're going to Wales with the Cardiff City Network. Now, you'll be able to enjoy diesel multiple units across a complex network style route. So that's it for this section, but join me shortly and we'll be revealing the final two tickets for today. All right, this is the moment Welcome of truth. Welcome back to the Take a Ticket Reveal show for the last time today. So let's grab our special wallet and let's take a look at the different tickets inside. So we're gonna turn this round and we're gonna draw Bro. them out as we previously have done. You didn't need to do all that. So let's pass the <laughs> wallet back. And now we're gonna be revealing the final two tickets for today. So I'm gonna start with this one. This is supposed to reference a very historic looking UK ticket, roughly around the 1980s era. You can also see that Just Trains is included, so this will be the route that Just Trains have been teasing. And I can reveal tonight that this is the West Coast mainline Preston to Carlisle. So I reached out to the Just Trains team for some top level information on the route, and they came back with three short, big statements. 90 miles, Shap Summit, Class 87. And I hope oh my god, wait a minute. So it's another leg of the West Coast Main Line, but in a different era? They announced two legs on the same route at the same time, but in different era. That's interesting, actually. Or is it well enough? But we're going to be following this up with more information in our upcoming roadmap live streams. And so that leaves us to the final ticket reveal for today. And it will be this one right on the end. So I hope you may have recognized this in the chat, but if you haven't, don't worry. But I can reveal that this is another new country for Train Sim World. Do you know where it is? Well, we're going to the Netherlands with our first wow. ever Dutch route, Zwolle Groningen. So this route will feature both express and commuter traffic. It will feature the iconic ICM Koploper train and the modern SNG Sprinter Next Gen units. And with that reveal, those are all of our six different TSW okay. future hours coming to Train Sim World 5. I hope you've enjoyed the Take a Ticket reveal show. But that's it from me. So for now, goodbye. I'm not going to lie. I think I'm very pleased with these new routes announced, especially, you know, Wales and the Netherlands. 
So we have some new countries, new territories introduced. I'm happy with, you know, what they're revealing here for the US. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Here is where my worries lie. What is the bug situation going to be like when these roots release? What are we looking at in terms of bugs and glitches? Only time will tell. I bet you weren't expecting we were going to be bringing the Netherlands to Train Sim World 5, but I hope you're all excited. Here's what that means for the Train Sim World 5 roadmap, which is our way of being able to show what's coming and when it's coming to you. If you've been around for the entire stream, you will have realized there is a lot to come for Train Sim World 5, including all of the routes and locos coming with Train Sim World 5 standard and deluxe editions, as well as all of the add ons that we have talked about in Alex's reveals. You can see these are split down by 0 to 3 months and other uh, projects which are a little bit I'm so happy MBTA commuters coming sooner than the rest I am so happy that they're not gonna make us wait super long for that because they owe it to us let's be real here with US content they owe it to us the fact that they're bundling it a train some world 4 announced and revealed route as train some world 5 base game that MBTA needs to come before all the other ones and they're doing that here so I will give them their tens here tens where tens are due it's the bare minimum that they they could do it is truly the least they could do but i'm happy that they're doing it further out from release so you can get yourselves excited put stuff in your diaries and get an understanding of when your favorite route is coming to train sim world 5. so with the netherlands wales and japan coming to train sim world 5. oh wow yeah the cone and timetable update they just have a patch so we're not getting a route extension for that or anything like new like a remaster it's just going to be a timetable update which i guess kind of makes me sad i was hoping that they would you know just beef that up and bring that up to the latest standards but unfortunately it's not going to work out like that that makes me a little sad but i am really happy with everything else that we're getting here like the great western express remaster the santa fe gameplay pack that's going to be coming also the tadami line we still don't have any more news on that but that is going to be coming release date tbc and then we still have the alice thompson simulations new route that hasn't been announced so there's a lot here on this roadmap that brings us to 11 countries represented within the game. And for that, I'm really, really excited. That's As good, a quick finally. Note, the Tadami line, our Japanese route developed by Union Workshop, we'll talk a little bit more about in our roadmap stream next Thursday. And that's your full picture of the Train Sim World 5 roadmap. There will be other things that we'll be adding to this over the course of the next few weeks and months but there are some of the big hitters to whet your appetites. All right, you guys. Um, I don't have much to say because obviously I've been sharing all my thoughts with you throughout all of this and I'm still deciding if I want to just upload this whole or chop it down. I don't know yet. I'm going to just get in and start editing it and I'll, I'll decide from that point. But there's a lot here. Um, Train Some World 5, you know, I was, I was very skeptical about it, but, you know, seeing the live map in the conductor mode... <sighs> I really want those things. I've been wanting the whole live map update for years. Um, of course, disappointed with the US content like I usually am. Um, I just feel like UK and Germany is getting a lot more. They usually do. Not really surprised with that, honestly, though, at this point, if I'm being real with you. Um, but the fact that we're getting the MBTA commuter, that definitely makes up for it. I'm very excited for that. Also, again, curious to see if, you know, Brandon Cactus Juice had any part on that because he's incredible. His work on Boston Sprinter and, um, you know, MTA for uh new york long island amazing he's he's just he's great he knows signals like no one else so um i'm really hoping that he's involved in that that way i have even more confidence in the route but i i'm excited i will admit to you guys i am excited i'm curious on what you guys think what your thoughts are on everything that was announced today all the new routes all the new locos share all of your thoughts down below and that's going to be it for me for this video of course i want to thank you guys for tuning in and checking this out of course if you already watched the stream if you watch this again here with me i appreciate it thank you subscribe hit the thumbs up button ring the bell so that you're notified anytime i upload a new video and i'll see you all next time take care and happy rail simming guys